Hi, I'm John Gosier, and you are watching another episode of Goss Talk TV, a show where I share advice about entrepreneurship in the tech startup world. Um, so today I am in Moscow, and it's fantastic. I, I'm actually really surprised at how much I'm enjoying it here. Uh, it's not without its issues, but uh, what place isn't? One one of the things I wanted to talk about today is uh, so the last episode was about uh, a shameless self promotion. Uh, this is an extension of this. And it's how to sort of be your own PR rep online. Um, one of the tips that I picked up very early on, and this is one that uh, has really served me well over the years, and that's uh, whenever there's press written about you if uh, or your company or uh, things that are related to you, um, I will actually market those uh, content items as if they were uh, content that I had produced and was trying to get uh, in front of an audience. So uh, what does that mean? Well, for instance, uh, take out an AdSense campaign for uh, an article that is referencing you. Uh, I've done this a couple of times, um, particularly on the social site. So uh, a Facebook campaign uh, serves uh, just as well, uh, it works just as well, and uh, will reach a narrow group of people, people who are connected to you, whereas the AdSense campaign will reach people who are uh, not necessarily connected to you. So. Uh, those two things alone um, will give you very different audiences, but I, I find that to be highly effective. So uh, I remember um, a few years ago, someone uh, at a very prominent blog was writing quite a bit about me. And uh, one day when he saw me at a conference, he asked me, he's like, man, I don't know what it is, but every time I write a story about you, our traffic shoots way up. I don't know what's going on. And so uh, if that person, if he's watching, knows uh, now knows the secret of why that was the case. It's not just because I had uh, tons of fans who were following my every move. Another thing you could do is uh, use social media uh, directly to uh, promote that content. So, uh, so for instance, someone writes an article about you or mentions you in a press release or something, uh, stumble upon it. You know, I use the stumble upon submission uh, button to submit that article to their community because their community will read it. And it's really not gaming anything. It's, it's like, um, you you just put the content in the system, and if it's good content, people vote on it, and if it's not, then people just sort of ignore it. Uh, and, and so it's just re a little bit rewarding because uh, you put the content there, that, that mention of you and what you're trying to do, and uh, if the community loves it and it goes viral, then hey, I mean, they that, that would have gone viral on its own. It's just you happen to be the one who submitted it. Uh, same thing for communities like Dig and Reddit. Uh, I mean, you obviously don't want to only do this. You don't want people to to call you out on the fact that all the articles you submit seem to be about you and your company, but um, every now and then it doesn't hurt. Uh, and to that degree, uh, make sure you're not just submitting things that are related to you. Obviously, uh, a big part of uh, social communities is contributing something that people uh, actually um, haven't seen or, or, or want to uh, uh, enjoy. So you don't want to change the dynamics of the community by just like dominating over things about you. Other things that you can do, uh, there's some uh, great tools for creating newsletters. I personally use uh, MailChimp and I try to send out a monthly update about uh, the things that I'm working on uh, and uh, particularly when it's it's a company I try to send something out related to all the things that the company's accomplished in that month. So it's really difficult for me to uh, do this on a monthly basis because I end up getting so busy uh, that it's just hard to produce the newsletter. So one of the things I recommend is produce two at a time. Uh, same thing with my podcast, actually. I do two at a time. Obviously, I'm still wearing the same clothes that I was wearing on the last one, and that's because I know myself, and I know as soon as uh, you know the camera goes off and uh, uh, it's back to work, uh, I have uh, the tendency to get distracted by uh, both work and personal life. So I have to do, I have to stack things up in advance in order to get it all out. Uh, yeah, so that's just a couple of tips. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. I'd love to hear from you. You can email me at info at gostalk.tv. And uh, you can follow us on Twitter at G-O-S-T-A-L-K-T-V. Thanks very much.